Hi guys, Headman Designs here with another tutorial. This time it's on After Effects and we're going to be adding some camera shake and some sort of dirt to the lens. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's get started. I've imported my clip. Um, I've done nothing to it, just purely imported it. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, is scale the clip up a little bit. Basically when we're going to be shaking the camera um, we're actually going to be shaking the clip and it's going to move the clip um, up, down, left and right and sometimes you'll see the black borders of the clip and we don't really want to see them so with the clip selected in the timeline we want to press S for scale and just put it from 100% to 103% it doesn't zoom in too much but when the clip is shaking around a little bit you can't really see the black edges and if you find you do see the black edges try 104% 105% until you can no longer see it um, now you've done that we want to on the clip itself you want to click the little drop down button by here click it again and you'll see you have anchor position position scale so on and so forth now for position if we alt alt click the little stopwatch we can now type in our own script um, now the script for camera shake and after effects is called wiggler so first thing we want to type in is wiggle uh, after you've type, typed in wiggle you now type in what you wanted to actually wiggle by so you need an open parentheses and let's go for 5 then comma then we'll go for 10 then close parentheses. Basically, what that means is it will shake the uh, the clip five times for every ten pixels. So if I put that to say twenty five comma fifty, it's going to shake a lot and really quick. So we want to start quite slow. So if we click off that now and start playing through this, as you can see now, the clip it's slowly moving around I don't have any black edges but if I do put this higher to say let's just try 20 for example and we play now you see now that it's moving more pixels isn't it? it's now moving 20 pixels you see that you can see some of the black edges on the clip so for now we'll just stick to 10 it keeps it simple, it's a nice slow movement, it's not too fast. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically wiggle done. I mean, you can add wiggle to anything. You can add it to opacity maps, you, you, you can add it to your scale. Wiggle just moves things around. It's not actually camera shake as such. Um, so yeah, you can apply this to basically any layer in After Effects and it will do stuff. I mean you could apply it to your color correction layer and it would wiggle the color correction on the clip and it can create some cool effects but just make sure that these values are quite low otherwise if they go too high it's going to become a bit too much and you won't be able to quite see what's going on so now that part is done we now want to add our, our dirt to our camera lens now if I add dirt to my camera lens in real life it's not going to move around with the camera, it's going to be still on the lens. So rather than adding, a, adding effects and stuff, we just want to find a simple texture of dirt which we can add to the, the, the composition. Now I've got four or five textures here, which as you can see are, they're quite simple, it's just a black background with some white marks on it. Um, so I'm going to drag that back in to my composition on top of the clip as you can see straight away that doesn't fit so I'm going to press S again and I'm going to scale it up until it fits a bit more nicely and then now you've done that we need to change the mode if you don't have mode here you will have a button called here saying toggle modes you can press that or you can press F4 if on Windows and you'll be able to see these little drop-down menus. These little drop-down menus allow us to basically 
change the blending mode. So like in Photoshop, you can have things like lengthen and add, subtract. You can do the same in After Effects. So if we try something like lighten, you'll now see that there's no black, but I have these awful white smudges all over my screen, which is kind of the effect we're going for. It's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna click, click on the texture, press T for opacity, and we're gonna bring the opacity down a little bit until it's visible, but it's not in your face. So let's just try 25%, oh, not 100, 25. And now you can see, you can still see it clearly, but it's not too visible. You can still see the clip nicely behind it. If I just render a couple of seconds of the clip, as you can see, it still plays nicely, but you do have this dirt. Um, sometimes you don't want it all over the screen. So what we could do is we could grab the pen tool up here and we could just draw a very basic grid with the pen tool around our texture, which creates a mask. Now the mask is very sharp. If you look up in this corner, you can see it's very sharp. So we have dirt and we don't have dirt. That's not really what would happen. So with the mask selected, if we come to the drop down, drop down masks and drop down mask one, you'll see we have mask path, mask feather, opacity and expansion. So on mask feather, if we just bring up the pixels a little bit, not too much, but a little bit, try 40 pixels, something like that. I know 40 pixels may seem quite a high number, but considering I'm working with a 720p clip, that's 1280 by 720. 44 is not actually that much. If we zoom in now, you'll see we have a nice soft feathering of our dirt. So now what you could do, you could create your new composition, uh, new adjustment layer bring that below your texture and you could add your color correction. So now straight away we have a much nicer clip. It has camera shake, it has dirt on the lens and it has color correction. We've done that all within a few minutes. So when we started with that, with the, it, it didn't move at all, it was just a standard clip. We now have our color correction and our texture. Now I recommend putting your texture at the very top. If you put your texture below, you're also gonna color correct your, your texture, which can sometimes look quite nice, but other times it's not going to. So it's best to keep it at the top because then you'll, you'll, you'll always have the original texture look rather than having it color corrected, possibly lose part of its depth, the, feather, the feathering of the mask might not work as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will include the textures that I have and I've used for this tutorial. Um, they'll be in the description for you to download. Um, if you found this useful or something's not quite worked for you, let me know in the comments and I will help you out and try and sort it out for you. But once again, the most important part of this entire tutorial is that we on our clip, we bring it down, and for our position, we alt click the position stopwatch, and then we can type in our value. Our value needs to be wiggle, then the open parentheses, a figure, comma, figure, close parentheses. No spaces, no full stops, just that. It's just purely wiggle, open parentheses, your first figure, which needs to be how much it moves, then comma, then by how many pixels it moves, then close parentheses. You don't even need to press enter, just click off it and the changes have been made. So yeah, give it a go. Um, if it's worked and you've tried it on a single clip, just post it as a video response, I'll take a look. I'll give you some feedback and, uh, and yeah, have fun and see how it goes.